I'm not big on speeches. I've always believed that the role of the bartender is to shut up and listen. And by that measure, Gabe was the worst bartender I've ever known. I never issued a speeding ticket to someone on a bicycle before, until he came along. He cared so much about my admissions essay. Even though he probably couldn't spell admissions <laughs> or essay. He booked my band to play the lantern all the way from Seattle to pretty much right where I'm standing. I can recall 14 specific instances where Gabe said something that made me laugh. <laughs> the first was two years ago. So, long story short, instead of a ticket, I ended up buying him a beer. Gabe stood like three feet away, grinning like a doofus at us. I'm sure there were more people, but I only remember him. And then he said, I know, that's why the K is silent. <laughs> uh, then the fifth time. He cared about everyone. He was the kind of guy you wanted to be around. He was a world-class bullshitter. He was my best friend. All I want to say about Gabe is, he came into this bar as a stranger, but he left it as family. Guess that's that then. What happened to Gabe was a senseless, tragic accident. And I just wish it that- It wasn't an accident. Son, now is not the time. Gabe called the mine. I gave him my sat phone to be sure he could get through. They fucked up. And now, now Gabe's dead. That was my shift. If anyone had called, it would have gone through me. Nobody called. You're lying. <laughs> In front of Gabe's own fucking sister, Alex heard the whole thing. He's right. I was there when Gabe made the call. I'd like to hear what you have to say about that, Mac. I'm not saying anything. Just, I didn't get a call. Draw your own conclusions. All right, folks. This is an ongoing investigation. How about that... we review the sequence of events, hmm? Well, son. When I saw you at the record store, you seemed pretty eager to find Gabe. Remember why? Hmm? Another fight with Riley, maybe? No, I don't have to take this. Just saying, pretty wild that you come stumbling out of Gabe's apartment with your face all fucked up. Ryan. And just a couple hours later, you just so happened to miss the call that would have saved his life? Look, I told you there was no call to miss. Hey, maybe the call got dropped. Oh shit, I mean, it's not like, it's not like Gabe was Mr. Reliable all the time. You watch your mouth, Mac. Ryan, that's enough. Now, I'm just as eager as you to understand all this, son, but there was a time Bullshit, and... Dad. 
And this little weasel's calling Gabe a liar at his own fucking wake. No, I am just telling you. Mac, I swear if you say there was no call one more fucking time. Stop it! Stop it now! This is not the time or place. We're all here for Gabe. Okay, Ryan? Sure, I'm... I'm sorry. It's not... I'm just... I'm not the one who killed him. <laughs> Aren't you, though? What the fuck did you just say? Ryan, back off. Oh, I'm hell. just saying. I thought I heard that you Mac, were the one. You shut the hell up. No. No, go ahead. You got something to say, Mac? Let's fucking hear Come it. Come on, guys. Don't make me intervene. All right. Fine. As long as we're tossing around accusations, way I hear it, you're the guy who cut the rope. Well, welcome back to Life is Strange. Chapter 2, Halantons. Um, last time, unfortunately, Gabe uh, supposedly died, and uh, now we're here. Uh, Why not you? That's it. Wake's over. Everyone out. <sighs> Alex? <sighs> hey. Fuck those guys. Yeah. Are you okay? Not really. But I... I will be. It's not your job to keep it together. Thanks. Do you... Um... It's messy, but do you want to come in? Sure. You play guitar? Sort of. It was a gift. From Gabe. Cool. Gabe would try to pop wheelies outside the record store to make me laugh. Never worked. Till he wiped out. That was hilarious. Gabe really wanted to do the LARP for Ethan. But by the end of it, he was more jazzed about it than anybody. Wish I could have seen it. Yeah. <laughs> we took this a year ago. We. I can't. 
can't. What? He actually kept it. Whatever that bottle made her think of, it really messed her up. I wonder if I could help her the same way I helped Ethan. I need to feel her sadness to figure out how to help her. Okay, so, um, sorry I'm being very quiet, I'm just letting the, the scenes, uh, play out. Um, don't wanna interrupt or anything, but yeah, welcome back to, uh, Life is Strange Chapter 2. And uh, we're just going to get into this and uh, see what happens. Um, I wanted episode 1 up on the day it came out, but unfortunately I uh, uh, ran out of time on that day to actually get it up, so I went up the day after. Um, right. Hey, Shushu. Thanks for sticking around. It's missing a... it's missing a year. You should probably find that. Won't be able to hear you otherwise. So how long has it been since uh, the death? I don't think it's ridiculously long, but it seems like it's been long enough for the... Getting dressed shouldn't be you know, so hard. ...apartment and yet. Uh, to be, like, all trashy and stuff. Right, let's go and uh, talk to Steph then. See what we can uh, figure out, why she's upset over the bottle. What's really going on with Steph? What are they called again? Don't shit on my yard! They're amazing! Their guitarist has one arm! Badass. Pretty badass. Foosball. I used to love this. <laughs> Dude, give it up. I already booked a bus ticket. Wait, wait, hear me out. One more game. If I win, you have to stay. If you win, I'll cover the ticket. You just lost 50 bucks. 50 spondooly? Uh-oh. Damn it, fucking overpowered blue meteor. Aww, <laughs> is your controller broken too? Yeah. We're playing until yeah, I win. My controller then is busted. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, presenting your new foosball champion, Gabe Chen. Oh, you're the worst. Can't believe I have to stay in this stupid town. I think we both know you could have beat me if you really wanted to. So you're welcome. Bullshit. Okay. Steph? Sorry. This is so embarrassing. I just need some time. Her sadness is so strong. I hope I can help. Oh, of course it's raining too. Is it raining? It is raining. Um, okay, so I've looked at all this. And there's something over here. Uh, shot glass? Here's to your new job at the station. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm not taking it. I move to Denver next week. You what? I think I know enough to help her now. Okay. Still can't believe he's gone. Yeah. He's the whole reason I'm still... 
I'm sorry, Alex. Don't mind me. Alex doesn't seem very torn up about it. She seems very calm. Um... How about a quick match? Did Gabe tell you we played? Had a hunch. I just had a hunch. Yeah? Well, you're right. Always. I don't really think it's a great time. Uh, fair enough. Probably shouldn't have, uh... I didn't know, I, I didn't know it meant, can we play Fine. foosball? Oh. Well, yeah, come on. We played your game yesterday with the, um... If you say so. Picked 20 songs or whatever. Oh, dear. Uh, use... Okay. So, how often did you and Gabe play? It was what? one of our favorite games. Okay. You must be pretty good, then. What? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what am I doing? Um... You were in a band, right? Wait, yeah. I won? What'd you play? Drums. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Oh, what? No, I don't. How, uh, how long did you play with them? <sighs> Too long. I know how to play this, it's just the controls on this gotcha. are very awkward. Okay, and then I... I swear in the actual game you can, like, move them. Oh, you can. Or... Okay, okay. Oh, uh, okay. Yay! <laughs> I am too good. Epic. Let's just mash every button. Exactly. Exactly. Maybe she'll let her win. Exactly. What? Cheating. I didn't even have to do anything. That was good. Five points! That's game! Yep. Big shocker. crazy that you knew exactly what would cheer me up. Don't give me too much credit. I'm the one who really needed it. Really? You, like I said, you didn't seem torn up at all. So, what are you gonna do now? What do you mean? That shit with Mac. He's clearly lying, right? I'm oh, not yeah. sure what Max deal is. I His story doesn't add up. Yeah. They were talking about some like phone call or whatever. I, I don't do recall. I need to find out exactly any phone call tonight. for myself and for Gabe. I've got your back. No matter what. Thank you. That means a lot. I should head back to work. Cool. Go on, not even taking time off? What a trooper. Leave my home. Take your fucking foosball table with you. Bye. 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 <laughs> I know Gabe made that call, but did Mac really let the blast go off just to get back at him? I know Gabe made the call. Call? I... I don't know what... 
hang on. I'm gonna look this up quickly. Okay, assuming he was off camera or something? Okay, well, anyway. Um, okay, so Gabe made a call uh, to Mac. Mac ignored it because he wanted the blast to kill uh, Gabe, I think. Right, what am I what am I doing here? What's my uh objective? Head downstairs, right. Can I change my clothes? I've spent enough Oh, a new set of clothes. What do I wanna wear today? Um I dunno, I don't really like any of these. I mean, this one's like a bright color. It's got like wolves on it. It's got some colors on it. It's got a cat on it. Just give me the wolf one. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, I don't think I need anything else up here. All right, let's. Oh, there's ladders on the floor. I didn't see those. Okay, well, I'll come back for them. They're probably just like sorry letters. You left all the food out. Donuts, what well, is like pigs in blankets, uh, some egg, egg bites. I don't know. Let's tidy the place up here. Yeah. Oh, hey, kid, you don't have to do that. Too late. Wanted to apologize for all of us. We're all grieving, but that's no excuse. It was your brother's wake, and you both deserve better than listening to a bunch of fools squabble. I appreciate it. That was pretty rough. Although it's hard to imagine a good version of your dead brother's wake. No, there's no good version. Just all of us trying to get through it together the best we can. Wasn't the first wake held in this old building. I doubt it'll be the last. Anyway, if there's anything I can do, just let me know. I need to talk to Mac. I know he's lying. I just don't know why. Any idea where I can find him? Well, he helps out Eleanor at the flower shop. That'd be the place to start. Thanks. I feel like I should warn you, though. You might not get the kind of closure you're looking for. If you get any at all. Just don't pin all your hopes on Mac Loudon. Thanks for looking out for me, but what else am I supposed to do? I wish I had an answer for you. But if you get a chance before you go all dirty hairy, swing by the dispensary. Charlotte wants to see you. And one more thing. I've been meaning to give you this for the last few days, but I didn't want to disturb you up there. It'll get you through that door and the one upstairs. My key. I've been trusted with a key. This is your home now, for as long as you'd like. <laughs> what about rent? Don't ask about rent. As long as I like? Really? I don't want to make any assumptions, or put any pressure on you about what to do next, but you're always welcome. I like this guy. This guy's cool. He's, he's, he's cool. Thank you. 
Give him hell. <laughs> I have no idea what to even say to him. So yeah, it, it's it's a little awkward now because this like Ryan was the one that, that that cut the the rope, and then he fell. Alex, I'm so sorry. I should have saved him. I don't know what to say. Hey, that was terrible. You shouldn't have had to see that. I know you're going through a lot. But can can we talk? I know it's a lot, but. I think I really need to talk to you. Okay. Well. Huh. Uh, Alex, I'm so sorry. Uh, so sorry. Okay. Jed. No one could blame me for wanting to drink all my sorrows away. Um, I don't think there's anything I need to see here, right? Can I speak to him again? Hopefully, things around here can settle down again. Oh, I'm sure yeah. it'll get worse. That'd be good. I should put something here. It's the least I can do. Gabe Chen, smooth criminal. They must have been close. Poor Ethan. I hope Ducky didn't finish this by himself. Courtesy of Haven's favorite DJ, I bet. Maybe I can find something upstairs to put on the memory table. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. Let's find something to put on... Uh... I bet Gabe would be up here a right. lot if he wasn't the one taking the pictures. Yeah, let's uh, let's find something to put on the table. Like you look at everyone else and they're all crying and they're all like, oh, the the memories and everything like that. But Alex isn't really just. Uh, Wonder what I can find up here to add to Gabe's memory table. Um, what can we find? Let's clean the dishes, why not? How fucked would it be if we just put dishes on his memorial table? Here you go, Gabe. It's a start. Those mugs did not look clean. D did you clean them or did you just What? Okay. Um, video game, broom, comic, snowboard, it has to be something really small. See? I can be a person. Yeah. Ah, the photos, of course. You're coming downstairs. Okay. Uh, notes. Having a small event for your uh, brother tomorrow at nine. Love to have you there. Um, let me know if you need groceries. Thanks, yeah, Jed seems like a really nice person. I like Jed. He's the homie. Glad I have something to add to Gabe's table. I think maybe because it's the second day as well, I might actually get uh, like percentages on the end statistics thing. Because last episode I didn't, uh, uh, I didn't get any like percentages, like community uh, uh, votes or whatever. 
Okay, so now that we got that, I think we should head and see Mac, right? Big Mac. Big Mac Johnson. Nathan Prescott the second. <laughs> Okay, Jed said I might find Mac in the flower shop, right. but I have time to swing by the dispensary if I want. Side objectives, yeah, um, visit staff at the record store and the dispensary, right, okay, yeah, let's do some side quests, and uh, these are nice bikes, by the way. On one hand, there's the open road and the freedom to run away from my problems, on the other, helmet hair. Was it on the <laughs> No, no I wonder how many fish Ducky's caught in this thing. I don't think he's caught in any fish. He probably caught a lot of duckies. Ho ho. I'm gonna sit down and chill. Do I even want to stay here without Gabe? In this state I've never been to before, this town I've been in for I mean, yeah, than a week. that's the whole reason she moved here was to see him. Not that I know where else I'd even go. Back to the nothing waiting for me in Portland. Nah, you should stay here. Definitely stay here. You're practically family to everyone here now, anyway. So you can, you know, you can't really just back out and leave. You. The park looks fun to explore. I don't know where the park is. Is this the park? Sorry about leveling all your mountains. Here's a bench. <laughs> You're writing a novel? Since when? I just start if I die tomorrow. Just like that guy. What have I done with my life? I don't have any easy answers for that. It's not what I was expecting, but hey, uh, sure. The I sheriff. Ethan when he was little. This whole thing is so horrible. Did you see him over by the water? Yeah, he looked rough. I didn't talk to him. There's literally nothing I can do for Ethan. I feel so useless. I've been there. Wait, apparently he's by the water. Like this water over here. Should we see if we can find him? Ethan was the kid uh, that I saved last time. Yes, Mom. I, I still have a job at type. Um... Okay, maybe it's a maybe it's a different water. Maybe it's on the other side or something. We'll check him out later. Um, right, let's talk to the sheriff. Hey, Pike. Hey. Um, how are you holding up? God, that guy is tall. Guess I've been better. Yeah, right. Dumb question. Nah, don't worry about it. You're just hey, trying to be nice. I get it. I want you to know I meant what I said back there. Gabe was something else. He could bring a smile to my face even on the worst days. Yeah. That's what everyone's been saying. And, uh... When you're ready, I still need to get your statement for the investigation. I think I'll be ready soon. Yeah. Yeah. No rush. Go. We need more cops like him in the world. If everyone was like this guy, so much different. 
Insert epiphany about new beginnings here. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I assume we can't go this way. Just, just leave. Just run away. Tragically, now isn't the time to check out the rest of Haven. That church looks important. I'm assuming we're going to be going there at some point. Uh. It's bullshit. We have a right to know what's happening to our jobs. You guys don't think anything's really going to change, right? I keep tight for eight years of my life. And they can't give me back one simple answer about my job. Typhon doesn't give a shit about anyone. I just still can't wrap my head around it. Some... Um, okay. One doctor had me try meditation. I always just fell asleep. <laughs> um... Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. Yeah, we can do in just a sure. second. I have a pottery class Wednesday night. Want to join? A uh, class? If I tell him I like him, we'll date, and then we'll break up, and then I'll lose my best friend. I mean, you don't know that. Come on, man. Can't you take a hint? She's not into you. Let it go. I usually grab a bite with Katie. <laughs> right. You should come. Mural. Nice. Guess they didn't feel like painting the mine. Oh, hello. Hey, Riley. Alex. Hey. Um, Mac. That fight Mac had with Gabe over your secret meetings. They were about you applying to college, right? Yeah. Ever since the first time Mac lost his shit in front of them, Gabe and Charlotte had tried to get me to end things with him. And after all this, I can see that they were right. Um. Do you think he could have ignored Gabe's call? I mean, do you think he's capable of that? I don't want to believe that, but... Sorry. I'm really not ready to talk about it. That's fine. Uh, okay. Yeah, no. That's fine. I'll leave okay. you be. Um... I know you and Gabe were close. How are you doing? I miss him. So much. like an older brother to me. He was my older brother, and I'm less choked up than you are. I'm glad he had you. Thank you, Alex. Really. Wasn't this the woman I said I didn't like at the beginning? <laughs> because she, I, I, I didn't like her tone of voice or whatever. You and Eleanor seem close. She's taken care of me ever since I was little. I never really knew my mom, but she's always been there for me. What does she think about you going away to school? She's thrilled. <laughs> I think she just wants me to end up happy. That's really sweet. She's the most selfless person I know. She's lucky to have you. Thanks. I gotta run. There's some stuff I need to do. Okay. See you in a little bit. I don't want to push Riley, but I need to know more about Mac. 
How do I get her to open up? Oh, hang if on. he's innocent, why is he acting like this? Acting like what? Maybe I can get her to tell me. Hi, Riley. I'm back. Do you want to talk about Mac? Yeah, I get it. It's just, if he didn't do anything wrong, why is he acting like he has something to hide? He asked me to leave Haven with him. What? Really? Right after the wake. He wouldn't tell me why. But he just looked so guilty. I told him no, and that we were done. And now, I'm scared he did something horrible. He most likely did. Riley, thank you for telling me. You deserve the truth. I gotta run. There's some stuff I need to do. Okay. Okay. All right. So, uh, hmm. We'll talk soon. Yeah. Whenever you want. Mac trying to skip town is sketchy as shit. Yeah. I bet I could use that to stoke his fear. For sure. For sure. Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Yeah, yeah, Jed yeah. Jed said Charlotte. I'm going, I'm going. Oh, sorry. Oh. We met briefly. You're Gabe Chen's sister, right? Alex, yeah. I didn't know him well, but I could tell he had a big heart. I'm so sorry for your loss. Okay. That was awkward. <laughs> uh, hmm. I remember last episode when the alarms started going off. I genuinely thought there was a nuke. <laughs> That's a lot of bongles. Charlotte, Alex, hey. Jed said you wanted to see me. I just wanted to see how you were doing. I've been trying to stay busy mostly. Yeah, distractions help. How about you? I can't even imagine what you're going through. Honestly, I'm really trying to keep it together for Ethan. He's hurting. I hear he's been having a rough time. He practically just lost a father. But he's shutting me out. He's never done that before. Not when it mattered. Everyone grieves differently. Maybe he just needs some time. We've been through a lot together. With the divorce and moving. He's never shut down like this. I just can't get through to him. I probably can, right? I can't get over the feeling that the one person who could help me deal with the aftermath of Gabe's death Escape. What is this? An affidavit. From Typhon. If I sign, I'm agreeing not to press charges. In exchange for a payment. A big one. Um... 
Yeah. That's so shady. Why would they be offering you money if they didn't do anything wrong? They say it's an offer of good faith. But you're right. He's dead because of them. And I'd be letting them off. Are you gonna sign it? I don't know. I'm trying to put Ethan first, but... What would you do? Do you think it would be a betrayal of Gabe? Um... Yeesh. Um... I mean... It's a bit shady. Also, I got a question. So, does Mac work for Typhon, then? If Typhon was the one that did the... Because they're the mining company, so... Right, okay. Um... Uh, take the money for Ethan. Uh, just, I mean... I mean, let's be honest. Ethan... He's living a decent life. Granted, he just lost a father figure. But, I mean, he's not, you know, in the dirt. Do you know what I mean? So, I mean, don't, I don't need the money. Sign it. I'm sorry. I know it's hard. But you can't let Typhon buy you off. And that. Exactly. Gabe made that call. And I'm gonna prove it. I just... I need some time. Thanks for being honest. Looking at her, uh, uh, if face. If they're willing to pay Charlotte to keep quiet, body language. Definitely hiding something. Um. I really appreciate you stopping She by. thought the other. Feel free to thing. take a look around if you want. Glass pipes are so cool. Ugh. They're like works of art that can also get you high. <laughs> God, put some clothes on. What? It blows my mind that Charlotte's been running the dispensary this whole time. I couldn't even leave the apartment. When did you start needing a PhD to smoke pot? Stairway to Haven? Believe it or not, Gabe named that one. Oh, I believe it. Okay. And he did it all with one rusty saw and a bottle of gin. Impressive. I'm always here for you if you need anything. Thanks. Thanks. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Uh, right, so what am I doing in here then? Charlotte's dedication to her art is so inspiring. Gummies. Man, these things better do the trick. I'm averaging like three hours a night. Pro tip, insomnia doesn't usually come from nowhere, and THC is way better at treating it when you're also tackling the underlying cause. Any idea what's keeping you up? Hmm. He's, he, he was worried about something. Maybe he's worrying, couldn't get to sleep. Okay, uh, I've had kind of a theory. Maybe... Maybe he did something wrong in, in, in the past, and... Ryan had a grudge against him, so when he saw the opportunity, he was like, yep, cut the cable, uh, and you're gone. And I guess... Yeah, maybe? I don't know. Possibly. He's definitely hiding something, though. I'm pretty sure we, uh... Um... Established that last time. Ugh. Still need to check the flower shop for Mac. Okay, and now now they're lingering shots on that Diana woman. <laughs> I swear. It's fine. I love being on hold. I love 
love this song. Yikes. Oh my god. No, I, I said cancel. Wrong cancel. game. Not transfer, cancel. <laughs> Wrong game. You, you belong in Doom Eternal. The Doom Slayer. Uh, flower shop. Oh wait, is there... Oh, the record store. Yeah, let's go and do that quickly. Steph asked me to pop by the record store if I had time. Yeah, we'll do that quickly and then we'll go see Eleanor. Steph asked me to swing by. She's got to be around here somewhere. Okay, that's just the comic from last time. Looks like Steph might be working on a new project. Helpful. How could Chrissy leave me? After everything we've been through together. It's hard to beat breakup music. But maybe I can find something around here to cheer him up. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, 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 sure. Let's do that. Um. Hmm. How could Chrissy leave me? After everything we've been through together. It's hard to beat breakup music. Okay, well... But maybe I can find something around here to cheer him up. Let's talk to Steph first. Hey, I'm glad you stopped by. I've only got a sec, but... Have you talked to Ethan at all? He's taking it really hard. But what you did for me this morning got me thinking. What if Ethan needs something like that too? Something fun and distracting. Something like a LARP. Like the one you and Gabe were going to take him to? Yeah, but designed just for him and Thanor. Okay, okay. He'll love that. Yeah, I'm glad you think so. I need your help, though. I want it to be as good as it can be. Ethan gave you one of his comics, right? So, what do you think? Who would the famous monster slayer have the most fun? Defeating. Okay. Hmm. Um. I like the guy on the left. He he looks the coolest. But would he have fun defeating him? I don't know. Um. I'm gonna go with the guy on the left. He's pretty cool Strong looking. Stormrider looks like a worthy opponent. He gets my vote. <laughs> Alright then. Oh, I, I gotta get back in there. There's some stuff in my comp book. Be cool if you could check it out. Help me make some calls. That was probably, that was probably a terrible decision to make because he's probably gonna uh, die because I made that decision. Hey, uh, Haven listeners. That was Phone Tap with their new single, Elephant in the Room. Elephant in the Room. Uh, wait, what was I doing? She, um... Spring Festival is just around the corner. Sponsored by Typhon Mining Company. The mission is free this year. Gabe was hoping I'd get back into playing. Maybe I will. Ah, oh, the cat. Val, I just want to be friends. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> didn't have a good, uh, interaction last time, did we? Okay, well, uh, I guess we'll, uh, go and see Eleanor. And Mac should be there as well, so we can speak to Mac, get some answers. It's life is strange, anything can happen. Max could come back for all we know. <laughs> Still need to check the flower shop for Mac. Yeah, let's go and do that. Thanks for coming by. Right. The flower shop was this one.
Hello, Eleanor. Eleanor? Oh! <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> no need to apologize. How are you, dear? Oh. I'm, um... Adjusting? Still just trying to adjust, I think. Give yourself some time. Change is always hard. She doesn't sound like an old woman. Uh, is Mac here? Oh, he was helping me not too long ago. I think he just left. Can't have gotten too far. <laughs> Got it. Thanks. Now, what was I? Oh, gosh. What's going on with her? Hmm. She looks terrified. I can't leave her like this. Can I do the thing? There we go. she's scared of okay time to figure out why she's afraid all my memories, all my memories are, fading. are fading I feel, I feel broken, broken. So what's she scared of? The cash register? I feel, I feel broken. broken. If Riley, Riley finds, finds out. out. Oh, she, she knows can't, can't something. Find out. Mac told her something. Thank you, dear. I'll get started on it right away. Just come by with the check whenever you're free. The memory is gone. Hmm. Okay. Am I still looking for stuff here, or...? Oh, the memory yeah, yeah, yeah. Gone. The memory's gone. It's the picture. Can I talk to you, or...? Is that illegal? If they know if they about, know my, about condition, my condition, they'll make me close, make this, place. close this place. Condition? Okay. The doctor said I had more time, but everything is becoming so out of order. Welcome to Heaven Springs. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. 
Okay. It's not just that she forgot what she was doing. She's afraid she's forgetting everything. But how... Forget what you were working on? <laughs> you could say I'm having a bit of a senior moment. <laughs> well, maybe I can help. A bit? Seems like you have a lot going on today. I could help you retrace your steps. Oh, uh, I don't want to keep you. Hey, I, I want to help. Okay, what would Eleanor have done first? Did you trim these flowers today? I don't remember. Did you beat up the register today? You were over here when I came in. Maybe you were counting the drawer. You don't have to do this. I'll be alright on my own. Hey. Well, fine. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, well, I guess I'm not going anywhere then. <laughs> You must have flipped the sign to open. I always flip it first thing when I come in. And then I open my mail. Something must have distracted me. Mac? Better. We can do this. Okay, so... The sign first, letters second. She got distracted by... Um, okay, she got distracted by a phone call. Could a phone call have distracted you? Yes. Okay. I got a call Progress. first thing in the morning. But I can't think who it was. Maybe we can find something to remind you. I wonder who called. Um. Could it have been Riley who called? I think that's right. Okay. She called to tell me about a new order. Order was for the flowers. Goodness. What was the order for? Yeah, for the flowers in the, uh, uh, in the case. So these. Rush order. This must be what Riley came in for. Oh, okay. Right, okay. Got it. I think that order might have been for these lilies. Of course. Riley helped me pick them out before she left. Now we just have to figure out who ordered them. Um... The register? The check for the lilies would be in here, right? That could tell us who bought them. Should. Mr. Jedediah Lucan, huh? Who? Okay. Looks like the lilies are for Jed. Ah. That's right. Riley dropped off an order for Jed. I knew you'd figure it out. I couldn't have done it without you. You're welcome. Seriously, Alex. You're a godsend. 
Ha ha! I know I am. Jed must be hosting some event. I wonder why he wants lilies, though. They're traditionally for funerals. God. Oh. She doesn't remember. Oh. Um. I shouldn't. Ah, uh, I shouldn't hide it. I shouldn't hide it because that's that that that's that's messed up. But I, you know, I don't want to tell her about it and make everything worse. Do you know what I mean? So, but you know, not telling her and telling everyone else that 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 that's completely messed up, in my opinion. So, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna tell her. I'm gonna tell her. They were. They were for Gabe's wake. Gabe's wake? Gabe's wake? I... missed it. I'm so sorry. Hey, it's Excuse me. We may have upset her, but you know, I just had to do it. Okay, that sucked. But at least I told her the truth. Exactly. At least the truth was told, and we didn't lie and keep any secrets or anything. She's really hurting, but I didn't want to lie to her. That poor young man. How did I forget? I'm so sorry, Eleanor. Okay. Riley is officially a badass. Right, are we done here then? Mail. I hope it's good news. I see. So she has something that's making her memory go a bit uh, wild, I guess. What do you want? You want to make fun of me too, like those other jock assholes? What? No. I, you made a sick killer robot and won a fucking contest. That's. First of all, we got third place. And anyway, he's not a robot. Technically, he's. Ugh. God. Way to take the bait, Rai. You know what? Fuck those pricks. You rule. And I would really like to see your robot. If you want to show me. Okay. All right. So, so yeah, search the uh, search the place for Mac. Uh, guess I leave and look for him around town. She said uh, he wouldn't have gotten far because he just left. I mean, he's probably miles away now because I've been here for about twenty eight twenty eight years. Eleanor said Mac is nearby. I don't see him here. Maybe at the bridge? How's your progress in Moondrop Ranch? Did you buy your uh, so sorry, but before, I really do appreciate your help. Uh, help just hit me hard. I apologize, it's been hard for all of us. Okay, well, you buy your at least she's not pissed off at me. <laughs> that's, the, that's the last thing I want oh, in these games, is to for people to be pissed at me. Unless they're assholes, then it's a different story. Nice people. I like I like nice people. Uh, there's the man himself. What's going on, brother? Mac. Oh. Alex. Push him. Look, it's not a good time. You owe me an explanation about what happened to Gabe. What? Costing me my girlfriend wasn't enough for you. 
Now you're gonna accuse me of killing Gabe too? We know you did it. I know you're lying. Drop the act. I know you've been lying about that night. You don't know shit. Mac, come on. He was my big brother. I can't. Something definitely has him scared. If I could just push him over the edge. Yes, exactly. That's what I was telling you to do. Push him off the bridge. What Riley told me might <laughs> do it. But I should make sure there isn't anything I still want to do around town first. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I think I'm ready. I've got the information I needed. Okay. Let's do this. Your ex-girlfriend told me about your plans to skip town. Ooh. That's not something innocent people do. Look, I didn't... It's not... I didn't do anything. <gasps> Fuck off! <laughs> Leave me alone! The fuck, what was that? Chase him down. Yo. when I get to him. For now, I need to learn everything I can. Okay. Typhon's always watching. They run this whole town. Hmm. Okay. I saw Mac run down that alley. Which alley? Down here. I'm so close to getting the truth. Can't turn back now. Oh, this way. Mac feels like everyone's staring at him. Everyone thinks I killed him. They all hate me. Killed by loser. It's one way to put it. Obviously, there's something bigger at stake here. Like he might not have done it but you know it should have been you instead what Alex oh what the fuck no what the hell there are people out there no, I told you to call it off Oh. I saw the way they looked at me at the wake. They all think I let him die. I know why you're lying. Um. It sounds like. Typhon was pressuring them, uh, pressuring him, right? Typhon's forcing you to deny the call. What the fuck? Yeah. What's all that about? Uh, I guess he is a little bit guilty too, because he could have just gone against Typhon. You might not have been the reason he died, but you covering for their fuck up makes you guilty too. Yeah. You don't get it. The 
This wasn't some accident. I told them you were down there, and they detonated anyway. On purpose? Yeah, why? why? I don't know. I swear. And then I get a message telling me to deny there was ever a call. You gotta believe me. Gabe and I, we didn't get along, but I, I didn't want him dead. And now, now Typhon's watching me. My girlfriend, she, she thinks I'm a murderer. My neighbors all hate me. What, 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 what the fuck am I supposed to do? I think I can calm him down, but does he deserve it? Um, I mean, if, if he's calm, we can get a bit more information out of him, possibly. Let's do that. Alright, Mac. Come on. You gotta calm down, okay? Dude, stay with me. Why does it keep, like, blacking I know what it's out? it's like to be doubted. To have everyone think the worst of you. But the truth will come out. I'll make sure of it. But Typhon... If Typhon comes after you, they're gonna have to get through me too, okay? Thanks. I actually feel a little better. <laughs> yeah, well, you learn a thing or two hanging out with shrinks your whole life. <laughs> gonna do now don't leave Haven I'm gonna get to the truth oh I thought we were gonna calm him down and get more information or whatever but okay <laughs> talk where are you okay who is that all right so he was pressured into not answering the call um Typhon detonated the bombs anyway, for what reason, we don't know, and I'm assuming that's what we're going to try and find out, why they detonated the bombs. Like I said, there's probably more that uh, Gabe did that, we, that we're not uh, aware of right now. You were right. About Typhon, about Mac. Alex. Mac got the call. How do you know that? He got the call and he lied about it. Doesn't matter. Someone is putting pressure on him to keep quiet. Someone from the mine and- It doesn't matter. I keep- coming here and playing it back but it always ends the same Ryan he's dead he's really dead Alex He 
might not he might not even be dead. Like, did, did they send, like, a search and rescue after him? Like, he could still be alive. I mean, very slim chance, but it's possible. Ah, I see. Boss battle. <laughs> Sorry. It was my fault. My job is to keep people safe. And I failed. You did everything right. Typhon took him away from us. Not you. She's wrong. I let her cross that log. I put Gabe in harm's way. I'm not a hero. I'm a coward. Worse than worthless. I know what it's like to feel worthless and helpless. But we saved Ethan. And you saved me. It doesn't matter. Gabe's dead. Because of me. Gabe, I'm so sorry. Um, Gabe, um, Look, the way the, he did what he had to do to save the kid. You know? And I think Gabe would be appreciative of that. And I think Gabe would want uh, Alex, Ryan, and Ethan to be okay. So. Gabe loved you, Ryan. He would forgive you. You know that. You're not alone. <laughs> hey, sh okay. Hmm. <laughs> There's a guy in a gorilla suit? <laughs> Does he also jump off of the cliff and into the pool? No, no, he chases a guy in a banana suit. <laughs> that guy jumps off the cliff and into the pool. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. This is a Mexican restaurant? Eh, nominally. <laughs> <laughs> the food is, uh, well, terrible. But it's Gabe's favorite place. <laughs> I tell you, he's the oldest 12-year-old I know. Can I ask you something? Of course. You came up here to tell me that I was right about Mac. About him getting the call. How did you know? There's something you should know about me. Oh, okay. I'm and just going straight into this, huh? It's easier to show you than to explain it. This is gonna seem sort of weird at first, then really weird. Do you trust me? All right. <laughs> Um, oh, okay, um, yeah, I think it's something scary. We don't want him to get into a sad or a angry place. I guess it's something scary. Okay. 
Think of something that just scares the shit out of you. Really focus until you feel it. Afraid you won't know how to handle it without Gabe. Never knew anyone so good at getting into and out of trouble. <laughs> oh, man, this one time. <laughs> Does that mean happy? Whatever it is you're thinking about right now, don't stop, okay? Keep going. Okay. <laughs> what emotion is this? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, this isn't like a happy laugh, this is like insanity laugh. Like, ha <laughs> I just killed someone! Ho ho ho! That's so funny, man. Be a good memory. I wonder if I can piece it together. Oh, what is this? Okay. <laughs> How deep you think? Deeper than that. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police can spot a goose grave at a hundred paces. <laughs> the Mounties? <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. How long were you going to let me dig? <laughs> I wasn't going to stop you. <laughs> Gabe. Goose. I see it. <laughs> It'll move. <laughs> it's not moving. <laughs> It'll move. Gabe! <laughs> what was those Half-Life 2 footstep sound effects? <laughs> is a violation of international law. Shut up. It is not. They're Canadian <laughs> geese, Gabe. Property of the crown. The the crown of... Property of the crown, Gabe. What do we do? So, <laughs> did you finish burying the goose or not? <laughs> okay, also, property of the crown? <laughs> really? <laughs> Well, they are technically protected under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. <laughs> <laughs> How? Laughing about dead geese. Um. Fuck it, I'm a superhero. <laughs> so. I guess I have this power I can see other people's emotions they show up like an aura and if I get too close I I feel what they feel as if I was feeling it myself 
And when I focus, I can even understand why they're feeling it. And that's what you just did with... with me? Whew. Some kind of power. No kidding. It's... it's only ever been the bad emotions before. But... that... that was... pure joy. Who else knows? Gabe did. But... now, I guess... just you. I thought the therapist knew. So I went back and wa watched the first part. That's how I know and... Max terrified of Typhon. He reported Gabe's call, and they ignored it. Now they're putting pressure on him to toe the line. Okay, but why? I don't know yet. Someone made the decision to let the blast go off. Seems like finding out who would be a good start. So, you're going after Typhon? You'll need help. You don't have to. You're stuck with me now. Hug it out. Let's go. We're in this Typhon together. You're welcome, I guess. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. No. Thank you. Interesting. We're going to plan the biggest heist ever. We're going to go in, shoot up Typhon. This one's for you, Gabe. I miss you. speak this morning. I couldn't. Hearing everyone talk about him, about the life he had here with all of you, I lost the chance to have that. But even though I only had one day with him, he changed my life. said, I didn't know if I belonged here. He told me that home isn't something you find. It's something you build. I won't hold on to this place without you. I will let you
Oh, okay. Oh, that 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 was the that was the chapter. That was really short. Okay, damn. Um. Right. Well, that was chapter two. Uh, L lanterns. I think it was called. Um. Decent chapter. Very short. Very short. I was expecting to be here a lot longer. Um. The woman at the end. That Diana. Uh, woman or Diane or whatever her name was. Um. She's uh, very suspicious. Uh, she was the only one with like the purple glow, and I think the purple glow. Uh, I think that I think that meant afraid. Maybe mm. she has some sort of, of involvement with Typhon. I think, and she's afraid she might uh, get caught out or uh, called out um, for her doings. Um, very uh, peculiar. So, uh, yeah, chapter three next, I guess, and uh, then there's one more after that, which is chapter four, and then uh, chapter four is the end. Or oh, is there five chapters? Oh wait, wait a minute. The the Diane woman. R remember when I was going into the the flower shop? Oh no, n not the flower shop. The um. Uh, uh, the Silver Dragon, Charlotte's place. The Diane woman was coming out. She was coming out and she was like, oh, sorry. So while she was in there, she must have given, you know, the, 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 the contract or whatever. Right, okay, yeah. She, she must be with Ty uh, Typhon then. I guess that's where I'm ending this episode then. Uh, a little bit shorter than the last one. Um, it's about uh, almost two hours on my end, but it'll probably be uh, shorter uh, when the actual YouTube upload goes up. So, anyway, thank you all for watching this. Subscribe, like, dislike, do all of that stuff. Don't need to tell you. Next Life Strange video coming up, um, possibly uh, tomorrow. Um, and uh, yeah, very cool. Am I enjoying this game so far? It's very good. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.